Hello, my name is Mike M0MSN. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. Now, I've been presented with a new company car and it seems to be a bit of a challenge uh, as I can't uh, alter it in any shape or form. I can't drill holes or, uh, or um, you know, bend panels or add things to it. Um, I'm having difficulty trying to understand where I can put an aerial. Now, I could use a magnetic mount, but I'm not really fond of them. Um, and they seem to scratch the paintwork or perhaps detach themselves at reasonable speeds. But um, yeah, so I'm not actually fond of uh, a magnetic mount. So what I would prefer to do is make a permanent mount on something like a roof bar. Now, my car doesn't have any uh, anywhere I can put roof bars, uh, although it has um, um, some roof rails. Um, they don't seem to have any um, form of attaching roof bars to them to which would uh, suffice to support an antenna. So I have made the decision to use a, a boot lip mount um, on the on the rear, obviously on the boot. Uh, but that has its challenges. Anyway, this is how I got on. This is the new Seat Leon FR e-hybrid, which is a, a partial um, well, it's a hybrid. It's got a, a battery in as well as a, a petrol engine. And I had nowhere to put my aerial. So I put it on a bootlip mount. Anyway, let's have a look inside and see what I've, uh, how I've installed it. Yes, the obligatory large uh, rubbish. Anyway. So I've installed a ICOM 706 Mark II G. Um, in the boot of my car, there's a, um, a nice well space on the side of this car. Um, and I've used Velcro straps, as you can see, which are quite strong, and a little bit of foam rubber. And there is a... duplexer. This is a CF706 duplexer that allows me to put um, both the um, the aerial outputs from the back of the 706 into a single aerial and in my case what I've used is a, is a diamond um, I forgot what the model is now Securing strap. It's quite sturdy. The battery is underneath the floor here, so I've basically connected directly to the terminals of the 12 volt battery and run the cabling underneath all of the, the boot space directly to the to the radio. Uh, and the fuses are uh, just held under this patch here. That's where the fuses are. There, look, you see. There we go. So it's all nice and neat. It's all nicely put in. Uh, and it works perfectly well. And I have a very nice SWR. I've used um, this incredibly thin coax cable, which is 365, I think. And it's Teflon uh, centered and coated. So you can't burn it when you uh, put your soda and iron on it. Works incredibly well. It runs up the the, uh, the dern of the, the boot lid, comes out of the covering here, and then goes literally into, into the boot um lid <laughs> call it that and then pops out there and into the bottom of the diamond now i've put in a gaia uh, boot lip mount on which works relatively well and uh, that's on a diamond 8900 quad band antenna um so i get 10 meter band six meter band two meter band and a 70 centimeter band on this on this antenna. Fortunately, this car's got uh, split seats, so I've run the coax cable, not the coax cable. I've run the um, the remote head cable down the side of the seat and underneath uh, and along the centre, and it comes out of the um, between the seats here and runs in the centre. Uh, 
I'm not going to call that bit really the the bit where the old drive shaft normally used to go, but I think it's a an exhaust now. Um, and I've taped it down with some Velcro. Um, that goes through the centre console. And then up into the uh, to the head module here, uh, and that works. Perfectly well, as you can see. Um, and there we are. I don't think there's anybody on, is there? Not at the moment. No, not by the looks of it. Like I said, the car's a, um, a hybrid vehicle, so we have um, an electric drive as well as a petrol engine, which generates um, electricity as well to charge the battery. Uh, but it does cut a price, um, although I don't get any interference whatsoever on um, the two metres and 70 centimetre bands. Unfortunately, the car generates a lot of RFI on um, 28 meg. Um, on the 10 metre band, it's completely uh, a useless uh, whilst mobile, unfortunately. Uh, something that perhaps Sayat may want to uh, to address. I'll put it into a Foxtrot mic so that you understand what I'm talking about. So here we are, 28, 450 FM. Turn the scrotch back. Notice the, the S meters on four or thereabouts. Now I'm just going to put it into drive. Okay, foot off the brake. Foot back on the brake. Foot off the brake. There we go. Electric cars. Oh, just in time for it to start raining. So there you are. <clears throat> Interference on the 10 meter band, which is quite annoying. Uh, but not a lot I can do about it. I've, uh, I've tried suppressing all of the power cables and uh, I even put a common mode choke on the antenna. So the problem is that uh, the, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the uh, the computer, the drive computer or something in the, uh, the electronics of the uh, hybrid that, that creates um, RFI on 28 uh, megahertz. Not a lot I can do about it. Any comments, please give them below. Um, short video this time, but thanks very much for watching. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.